All right, man. Peace and blessings. Um, <laughs> I had a little delay, a little brief interruption, and I'm back at it again. All right. So I was trying to record this video and I wasn't able to record it. But anyways, um, we about to get into this quick video of a brother who loves to smoke weed. <laughs> and it was an interesting brother and uh, I had fun talking to him. But we're going to we're going to show you how basically how confused the black man is and how he's not in his right mind. And as long as the black man is not in his right mind, the most high is going to leave us down here to be eaten up. All right. He's going to leave us down here in this fiery furnace. Okay. First, you have to get your mind right. Black man. Read first Kings chapter 40, uh, chapter eight, and start at the 42nd verse. Read the whole chapter, but start at the 42nd verse. Solomon talks about how a man needs to bring his mind and, and, and repent and come back to the Most High. So we got this brother right here. He was talking about fasting, how he was corrected by the Most High, etc., etc. But we're going to get straight to the point. This brother thinks that he can smoke weed and come close to the Heavenly Father. That's not the case. Your temple has to be clean. You have to be on the right track. Okay, you can know of the Heavenly Father, but the Heavenly Father is not going to reveal his secrets unto you. Okay? He's not going to reveal his secrets unto you. You can't get with a, a beautiful, intelligent woman. Okay? And not come correct. You can do that with a beautiful hoe. Okay? You can do that with a beautiful hoe because a beautiful because a hoe loves a man who is just as chaotic, delusional, misinformed as herself. She does she wouldn't know how to act with the positive, masculine, intelligent black man or man period. Okay? You can leave the race out of it. But this channel is for men of color who is very misinformed, who needs help and guidance. All right. So with that, I'm going to get started in this video. I'm going to see how to show you how very misinformed this brother is. All right. So, so, one, so one, one twenty nine. That you brought up, you brought the scripture. Yeah. So Genesis yes. one and twenty nine says, and God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, mm -hmm. and that one right there says, uh, seeding seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which it is fruit of the, of a tree, yielding seed to you it shall be for me. So now for the me, fruit is right. using seed. Not, not flesh, not dead flesh. Yeah, but, but for me, me. Okay, so what does that mean? So the brother's trying to prove his point about how we weren't given meat to eat and we need to deal with the herbs. Okay, so he went to the famous, every weed head goes to the scripture of Genesis 1 and 29. Didn't the Lord say, they quote that verse. Okay, they cherry pick. But there's plenty of more verses the brother can go to to show him that smoking weed is not correct. Okay, it is not righteous. It is not comely to the most high and it's a gateway drug for you to dive into witchcraft which his brother's going to say and confess out of his own mouth that he likes to deal in witchcraft and doesn't even know it he is straight delusional and in denial about what he's into and his practices that mean, what do you do with that meat? you eat it okay Eat it. That's the point we're trying to get to, brother. We, yeah. we, those herbs is grandma. You know, we, you don't. Grandma didn't roll it up in the blunt back in the day for you to smoke it. They is to put yeah. righteous grandma. Okay, maybe a hood grandma. Yeah. Cook it. Oh, I mean, really ain't supposed well, to really cook just, it. I was just saying what from experience. But how do you know though? Really, yeah. it's the most high healed you. Exactly. Yeah. Right? That's the point. Right? You know, hey, don't. 
It's all the most high. We can, you, I, I agree with that. If I'm, if I'm sinning and I'm about to die and they say, well, that bush right there will heal you. Man, if the most high is tired of me, he'll just let me die, man. Yeah. No matter how much I eat the whatever bush. But we yeah. do understand that, okay, the marijuana, there's a certain use for every plant. And it's meant to be digested through the mouth, yes. not because this takes you to because you, it takes your mind. Uh, you, it, just, it, 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 it makes you unsober. The mouth, does the same thing, huh? It does the same thing as it does smoking. All right, it does the exact <laughs> same I, I agree thing. With that. It to does. be honest with it you, does. it does the exact same yeah. thing, but the effects are heavier when you ingest it than it is when you smoke it. It's but, a total difference. But you're not destroying your temple when you ingest it like you do when you smoke it. I don't, because, believe, you're, I don't believe you're destroying it when you smoke it either. Okay, is there possible to burn something to get uh, H2O from that? If you burn something, will H2O come from that or will carbon come from that? Carbon. Okay, so it's a sci scientifically proven fact that us ingesting carbon or carbon monoxide will kill the body. Okay, science is all also set out to prove that God is not existed either. So you can't. But we don't use it in that form. No, okay. but see, you can't use something that's proven God not exist and say that this is proven. No, the God. scientists already know that He exists. Yeah, that's why they try so hard. Why do you think they try so hard to get the Antichrist? No, no, no. But, well, science means no. God. Science is knowledge. When you look in the scripture, yeah. science is just knowledge. Are we, they giving us the information? That we should have, or are they no, giving us we, what the they information's want us out there? Would you they giving us? They're only giving us what they want us. To right, have. but is the information out there? Though? If that's the case, marijuana would be legal. We should it, be, is, it is legal. Well, I'm talking about no. I'm talking about it shouldn't even be no, even no question of why well, even marijuana would be federally, legal. It's because federally uh, cannot it, it, it okay. takes away money. That's it takes away money. That's, yeah, that's, that's Yeah, but see, what they worried about is. Everybody healing themselves and not Holistic taking their medication. The list of healing. That's exactly. That's, okay. that's, and working. I, and I, that's I, either I, working with God or working with the Antichrist. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, know. but you understand that, that weed. Have you ever dealt with a person on weed? Yeah. Okay, a person on weed, he's high. He can't really communicate. He don't really function well. You're not going to be. Let's, 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 not, not, gonna not be, everybody. You can't not, blow, so you can't blow two work. blunts and then go to work and function in your job perfectly, man. I, 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 <laughs> Come on. I, I, where you work at? Just, I don't, where, where, hold on, where you work at? I work on Wall Street. You work on Wall Street? Street. I, I got... AKA, I don't have a job. <laughs> Whether you're on the West Coast, I'm like, you work on Wall Street. But, hey, okay, so you're at home with three computer screens up, trading stocks with all the, the big countries in America and all the big businesses, right? And then catching the bus. Because you're saving all your, your money, because you learn how to do that through your financial literacy class you took at uh, Yale University, right? Okay. Yeah, freedom. I don't, I don't where do you work at? Wall Street. I trade stocks. I'm an investor. From, from home, from the computer? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you work from home? Yeah. Okay. Much. So can a teacher. Well, about okay, a can a, okay, can a teacher smoke some blunts and go teach a class? And I'm going to tell you yes, man. I'm, I'm going to say yes. Because not I'm to be disagreeing with you, but that, do so, I seem like I'm high right now? It's the you can smoke a blunt and go to class, but the kids are going to notice that you're high. And you're not going to be able to function in your job correctly. You're going to have some things where you, you, you miss, you, you're going to have some malfunctions. <laughs> On the job, okay? All right? You're not going to be able to... You smoke one half of a blunt, okay? You might be able to tolerate it. Have a high tolerance level. But... Go ahead and get high on the job. I'm talking about high. Let's see if you have your job tomorrow. The tolerance. It's the tolerance. You got to think no, about some people. No, I'm not talking about one blunt. I'm talking about... Puff, puff to the to the yeah. cars built up. Yeah, his his, smoking, his question. No, 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 no. His, we know you just got done smoking, brother. That's why you sound ridiculous. <laughs> All right, that's why you still living in the in the 1989, brother. Looking like O dog. <laughs> o dog on Wall Street. His so question you, logically, no, you cannot. Yeah, you, logically, no, you cannot. You, but you, but your side of it is you can function. Some people can't fuck. I ain't talking you can walk outside. I'm talking about you gonna go hold a meeting with a whole bunch of people. People gonna be looking at you like, oh, this nigga's I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can you, do it. Oh, 
I'm talking about a person in general, not well, just you. Okay, that's not everybody. Speaking, everything no. has a different no, okay. effect on everybody. Right. Yeah. If somebody, I, I'm, I'm be, I might be able to drink water for 40 days and 40 nights, and this other person might not be able to do it. See what I'm saying? I might be able to eat. I might not be able to eat meat, but then somebody else might be able to. Right. But what's the purpose of smoking weed? The purpose of smoking weed? Yeah. I use it for meditation. Meditate. A, see, lot, a lot of times I see, use it for meditation. See, now, and that, and he's supposed to be meditating. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Meditating with the word. Why can't they use the word to meditate? I use the word Because people, meditate. people, drinking's not bad either. My, to relax my body. Right. And to go deep into it. Deep into. I've learned how to astral plane and all of that stuff. You know how to what? Say astral- what, nigga? <laughs> See, I told you he was going to end up confessing. He learned how to astral plane. We're going to get into what that means. But he learned how to astral plane. All right? Let's see what he says. Astral plane, when you, leave, when, you, when you separate the body from the soul. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> see, look, look, look. So you're trying to go into another realm. You're trying to tap into that's another God's realm. realm. Those are God's no, 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 see, no, 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 no. That's no, no, what no. we're going to disagree, where, disagree with. Where that. do you go when you die then? Look, you ain't supposed to be trying to go into those realms. Why not? I'm going to tell you this, you don't need weed to tap into those realms because when you read Isaiah the 6th chapter, okay, he went into a trance and he seen the Most High. And he seen the visage, okay, a silhouette of the Most High. And he felt like he was going to die because the Most High was so holy and so clean, so powerful. He said, I'm a man of unclean lips. And the angels put coal on his tongue so they can cleanse his mouth so he can go out and speak to the people. Now, do you think he was smoking weed and went up there to go? His body just jumped. He pulled a Doctor Strange? No. Okay. That's what this brother doesn't understand. Not. See, that's because now you're telling me Why that you, you're delving in witchcraft. Go to, go to, go to first, witchcraft. Go to first. Bro. Go to First Samuel chapter one verse twenty eight. Y'all go back and look. Read read that Bible in Hebrew. <laughs> we would... <laughs> go read it in Hebrew. We gonna understand that we can roll up blunts and smoke high and listen to Bob Marley all day long. All right, but... you will. Go back and read it in Hebrew. No, but, but but why are you trying to dive into another realm? Because yeah. that's that's God gave me that right to do that. God gave me a right that's to go called, and visit called... the people that's passed away and went uh, to heaven. See now you trying to do a taste of what heaven yeah, is like. But... Yeah, but so most I says I'm the, I'm the, all right, go to 1 Samuel 28. 1 oh, Samuel 28, real quick. See, that's how you know. Now you're answering my question. We're we smoking weed because we want to dive in. We want to tap into these other worlds. Oh, no, that ain't why other, I smoke it. We, I just, smoke weed. I smoke weed to relax. I don't smoke weed to meditate. Oh, no, 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 and really, it's a gateway for you to dive into a little bit of witchcraft. All right? So when he was smoking weed, a spirit came and showed him how to meditate into astral plane, which leads and goes into esotericism, which re- goes into witchcraft, ultimately. Ah, brothers are funny. I smoked weed in four years when I learned how to do that. It's called uh, Astro Plane? Astro Plane. Astro uh, Plane. Well, they got Astro Project and Astro Plane. They okay. Different okay. ways they say. Well, before I go out of this... Uh, that's all from the pineal gland and, and, and the chakras, bro. Well, that is nothing okay. that... I'm trying to tell my, my family member. Chakras, pineal gland, your third eye and all that bullshit. Witchcraft. That is, okay. a, that is a natural body function. That's just like saying taking a shit is, is against God. Well, no, it's different. That's a natural, no, it's not. It's, it's your chakras, you take a, a you take a dump to release the uh, the, t- the, the, the 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 toxins of what, what you ate from the body. What's the difference between separating the soul from the body? You can't. You shouldn't. Why not? Why? Are you- what's the difference between separating the soul from the body and taking a dump? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, brother, you smoked a good one that day, boy. You trying to dive into it's, this other it's, realm? Because God allows me to. I've let, I've, but what are you, what are you doing in that other realm? Seeing my people. I've seen my mom, my grandmother several times. So you t- Brother, you're delusional. And really that's Satan dealing with spirits and giving you what you want and the Most High handing you over to a reprobate mind because you don't listen to the Most High. And the brother confirmed that earlier in the, in the video before I even put it on this. I'm not putting it on this tape. 
but the brother talks about how he had a wake-up call, how he's coughing up blood and thundering and got baptized outside and he woke up on the cross. Brother, you're delusional. <laughs> and those things may have happened to you, but you're dealing with the left-hand side. And the right-hand side is trying to wake you up and tell you something, but you're too hard-headed and stubborn, which is going to come out in this video. And a lot of black men are. And they want to, they're real complacent in this society of being a slave to this, to this beast. Okay. He thinks it's fine waking up, being able to walk outside and, you know, I might get harassed by the cops, but I'm going to go buy some fried chicken from the Punjabi because I'm too lazy to cook for myself and my, my, my woman ain't going to cook for me. And, you know, he's living up at his mom's house. Not trying to do nothing with his life. The black man has become real complacent. Now, not all black men are like that. But you have a certain 3%, 4%. Okay. Even if I gave it 10%, you still have 90% of Negroes that are complacent in America. All right. This brother talks about he's astral planning so he can go talk to his dead grandmother. The necromancer. Damn near a necromancer. You'll see. Witchcraft, bro. <laughs> now you done with the death, you man. Witchcraft. You we mean, supposed you to be living in the... I'm in witchcraft, and I'm no, happy every you, time you I You remember what Saul did when he went to talk to the... I was a witchcraft, and I'm happy every time I... <laughs> he, he, he goes back and deals with his dead grandmother so he can find out how to make her biscuits, okay? Grandma, remember them good old biscuits you used to make? Can you tell me? Can you, can you write that down on a piece of paper so I can... Go back to the life. <laughs> Brothers don't make no sense, man. Brothers don't make no sense. Don't even know what they're talking about. Because he, with God quit dealing with him. God mm -hmm. cut Saul off, so what did he do? He went talking. He had to, to go witch. deal with the witch. And then he went talking to see Samuel. Even mm -hmm. Samuel came like, "Why did you awaken me?" Okay, we gotta, we gotta read it. We gotta, we gotta go into it. Brother. We don't go, we don't, but I'm gonna ask you one question real quick just to go back to the scientist part. What would you consider Solomon? What's name? Let's stick, let's stick on the thing. Let's go to 1 Samuel, uh, uh, 1 Samuel 28 and 1. Because Saul, Samuel, not Samuel, but Solomon was the wisest person God ever created, right? Yeah. He knew, he knew the different trees, he knew the grass, right. he knew the out, he knew everything. What does science tell you? knowledge about everything right. that you can think of you know right. what i mean so you can't say science is or science is against god well everything they're doing they're trying to prove that god didn't do it <laughs> well Where's the big bang theory come now, from that now that that's evolution darwin yeah but that's still all science. all right can, can i read the well most certain theories come from satan brother but you got to stay on the right track this to you brother science is right now proving that that we can we're supposed to be eating meat and we're not supposed to be eating meat. We, we, we was only given meat until the it, when the earth was flooded that was when we was gave meat. When the earth was flooded, there was no vegetation. It wasn't the... Notice how the weed head cannot stay on track. The earth subsided when the flood it was flooded. vegetation. How it was, it, it was a rain. Was this, have you ever had the whole no, before, was before the flood? Yeah, before the flood. Okay, but before, before the flood, it was just dew. It was just regular dew. I'm talking about during the flood. Dew came down from the heavens like it does today. You walk outside, it didn't rain the night before, but there's water on the ground. All right, science shows you that as well. <laughs> Ooh, this brother was funny. Huh. Yeah, but the plants were growing, but because when you read the creation of Genesis chapter one, like you said, the earth, how did it grow? Okay, but during the flood, when the whole earth was flooded, where was the vegetation at? He was sending birds off to come back with, with, with leaves to see if it was in Right, but if you just sat there and said that you used the verse uh, Genesis 1, 1 and 29, 29. Okay, that was before the flood. The flood didn't come until the Noah story didn't come until like the fifth, sixth chapter. Right. Okay, right. so before that. So the brother was very confused. All right. He went into Genesis 1 and 29 to prove that he could smoke weed. Well, damn, how do those weeds spring up? Because of the morning dew. As generations, hundreds of years before that they flood, they wouldn't eat meat. What did they say was meat right. in there? But you said the herbs were growing, right? Yeah. Okay, the, the herbs were growing. What, was what were the animals had to eat? What was considered meat? Yeah, the, the, the vegetables. Okay. So now, before when the, the flood happened, okay. what happened? 
It flooded up. Flood, when the whole earth flooded off, what were we going to eat? How about you go at Astro Plane and ask Noah himself, okay? Would you like to talk to the dead? All right? Go Astro Plane and ask him yourself. And maybe you can have a little bit of clarification on what was going on back then since you're heavy into this astral plane. Go eat. There wasn't no vegetation. There wasn't no more water. So we got meat. That's why God well, gave he, us the clean Well, he had, he had to store all that stuff on that on that, on that that ship. Yeah, but he gave, why did he give seven clean animals that we could eat? And only two seven, unclean. So seven clean animals. Okay, so how do you know he was, was how do you know he, he was? He gave us meat to uh, eat until the earth, he, until the oh, water okay, subsided. So, okay. Now when the water subsided and the vegetation came back, we were supposed to stop eating meat. You no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Because well, why, was, how come everybody started dying at 120 years old? Dude? Because of oh, sin. Man. Because of sin. Because we was killing God's animals. No, no, no. Because of sin. Thou shalt not kill. No, it was. It, I suggest you go back and read Genesis, the sixth chapter, and it tells you why man would die at 120 because of sin. All right. The Most High was not allowing man to live longer than that. But anyway, I'm about to cut this video off and begin the second one. But as you can see, the brother, <laughs> the astroplaning man, is not all there. Shalom.